Hey, welcome to the video. So I really want to make it important to you and highlight to you how important it is to live your life on purpose. And even in a more modern view of this in the type of society we live in, understanding that just awakening isn't going to create the life you really want. And when I think of what the pursuit of spirit means, of course it is awakening to your true nature. Of course it is everything that I talk about, but even more so it's being able to just simply do what you love on a very human level. It's being able to be rewarded and paid money to do what you love because you have mastered it because you have developed that skill and while these two things may seem contradictory and whatever belief you may have about spirituality and money beforehand they really go synonymously and they synergize together to make the opposite even more powerful when they're done in conjunction and i want to explain a little bit about that how that works so You've probably heard me say before that, you know, one of the deepest truths or the deepest purpose of life and of reality itself is it's love. It is creativity. It is joy. That's why us humans value those things so highly because we intuitively know that creativity, joy, and love are one of, if not the most important things in existence. And if we are an, an extension, a, a, a part of the whole, and we value it that much, there has to be a deep, deep reason to that. And from my own experience, it makes very much sense that the universe, being a single unified thing, would create itself and manifest itself into form out of love. Now, from the scientific or the materialistic point of view that makes no sense because like you would be like why what love how is reality made out of love that makes no sense i mean my life sucks there's people dying there's people starving how could it be made out of love it sounds insane i know it does and i'm not gonna dive into explaining that specifically we can do that in another video but just for the sake of this video understand that it is possible that a single and alive intelligent thing because reality isn't dumb it's it's literally what you are right now so if you're able to understand this video then it can't be that dumb right so it would it wouldn't be that far off in fact it's not that much more crazy than any of the other ideas we have right now about reality that a single and unified consciousness, an intelligent, alive consciousness, would manifest itself into form so it could experience itself in every single way possible, even all the dark ways. And what would that be other than out of love, out of creativity, out of pure spontaneous joy? I mean, if you're eternal, you're immortal, what, what else would you do? See? So it's not that crazy to think that this is what is going on with reality. And if we hold that in view, it synergizes very, very well with us on a practical level. So on one hand, we have reality doing this on a meta level, and then we have us, an individualized expression of the whole and what it's doing on a meta level, on a big picture level. And if we want to think in terms of alignment, in terms of flow, what would we do to align with what the universe is doing on a whole level? Now, if you believe the universe is inherently good, then I'm sure you can intuit. I'm sure you fantasized and I'm sure you know, you know, deep down just how much beautiful, just how amazing and profound and deeply deeply spiritual your life would be if you not only awakened to yourself as the whole but you also on a very practical level got to do what you love every day and you were rewarded for it people actually appreciated it you were actually helping people in a very very deep way because i'm sure you've held the door open for someone i'm sure that you've 
help someone with a task at work and even just that small act of of goodness can fill your entire being with joy now imagine doing that for your your life's work imagine doing that on a level so deep you can't even imagine it right now and then pair that with awakening that is what the pursuit of spirit really is so i know i i, I do talk a lot about awakening because in a sense if you were to just awaken or excuse me if you were to um not awaken at all then no matter how much money you made and and no matter where you worked or what you did with your life you still wouldn't have that depth you wouldn't have that astonishment and that absolute wonder and and magical spirit vibe absolutely infused with your life because there's a lot of people that do what they love for a living and they spend it on drugs they spend it on alcohol so it's not enough to say that we can only have this but it's also not enough to say that you that, that just awakening is enough now i would argue that if you had to pick one or the other definitely awakening to your true nature because this is the source of suffering this is a source of you know a lot of darkness in your life but really you need both you need both to create a a amazing extraordinary life and when i think of the pursuit of spirit that's what i created it for that's why i created this page that's why i create videos is because i am awakening to what's true but i'm also doing what i love and that produces this absolutely amazing synerg synergenic effect that I get excited about even just sharing to you because it's it's so amazing. And when I look at people around me, it's sad. It's sad to see what their lives are about. Their lives are about shallow, shallow things, about what Rebecca said at work or about what this person did to this person or how much money they have in their bank and that's what their life's about that's it and it, and it's sad to me because i just know that there's this infinite deep well within all of us and we all have something to contribute to the whole because we are an individualized expression of the universe's love and you activate you activate your unique proposition to the world when you start living your life's purpose now to bring it back to your life's purpose what does life purpose even mean your life's purpose is what you are uniquely suited and fitted for in this life and it is not just that it's what like you're good at because you know people will tell you oh you're really good at that and you're like i don't even like that of course there's stuff you're good at but you don't like it not only that you don't love it your life's purpose is the thing that you are amazing at and that you love to do that is your life's purpose and that is what synergizes and connects with what reality what the universe is doing at a meta level almost perfectly that it seems as if life was designed that way and us humans are going this way completely opposite direction pushing kids through school and, and having jobs jobs that nobody wants to do and you may you may say well well vic well we have a society you know obviously there's work people that there's work and things that um we have to do that people don't want to do and that's a completely different discussion we could talk about the setup of society and how we could restructure it to um um you know individualized colonies where there's no money that that's a whole discussion but my point here is that when you start living your life's purpose you start doing what you love it absolutely synergizes with the awakening process with consciousness with everything i talk about and understanding the mind and everything because like i said if you just understood awakening and you were awake but you had to go to your work and you hated it your mind hated it you, your mind resisted it then you wouldn't be really living a life you loved right 
Yes, of course. But if you just lived your, your, you know, you just lived your life, um, purpose, although I would say life purpose is actually like awakening at the same time because you're awakening to love because you're doing what you love and it, it has this amazing effect. But even if you were to just, you know, do what you like to do and make money doing it and you didn't awaken, you wouldn't have that depth, like I said. So in tandem, when you're awakening and at the same time you're doing what you love, it, it, it literally feels like this is it. Like this is what life's about. <laughs> It's about feeling alive, doing what you love, helping other people in the way that you were perfectly suited to do. And also the inward journey where you are awakening to levels of, of consciousness and awakening to understandings that are literally unexplainable. So mind-blowing, you literally can't communicate them. And when you have both those things, that's the pursuit of spirit right there. There really is no end goal, but the, the cultivation of both of those is the pursuit of spirit. So this video is really a reminder of the importance of life purpose and how seam seamlessly it fuses with awakening. Now, I'm going to let this guy pass. Um, now... I'm going to probably start making more videos on life purpose and explaining more in depth how this connects, but I want you from this video to start thinking about how you can start setting up your life so that you're not only doing a meditation practice, you're not only understanding your mind and awakening, but you're also putting effort into creating something, creating a a a um, business really out of doing what you love so that you can be rewarded for it. And now when I say business, I'm not saying that in like, oh, you know, make as much money as possible. I'm saying you, you, you set your life up so strategically. You think about what you really want to do with your life that you create it in a way because you're the creator. Remember, you create it in a way that you're doing what you love, impacting the world in a positive way, helping humanity awaken and being rewarded for it in, in whatever means that is. That doesn't even necessarily mean money. It could mean that you travel the world and wherever you go, people offer you a house. You know, see, it could be something like that. Or I, I don't know, whatever it is for you, um, that's what it could manifest as. And then when you're living 100% from that place, which of course it'll take time, you're probably not in that position right now and anything great is going to take time and dedication. That's why, you know, we can't forget about these basic, simple human things like just, you know, patience and a little bit of discipline, a little bit of doing something your mind is resisting to do and have the life you want for the rest of your life instead of suffering through a nine to five, you know, till you die. So when you set up your life in this way and you start living and helping people, it absolutely, it, it like supercharges your spirituality, which is the heart of your life, should be your spiritual practice. But then they, they, they literally fuse together. Your your work literally becomes your spiritual practice. Your art becomes your spiritual practice. Your your music becomes your your way of connecting and expressing that divine spirit that is within and is composing all of reality. So it has a synerg synergistic amazing effect and I would almost I would almost argue I know that there's people that have awakened um and they they lead very normal lives and I'm not sure if that's how their minds were conditioned growing up or if they you know they're older and and they um I don't know I don't know what it is if it's they the social media boom just started but I would imagine that most people who awaken are so mind blown and so amazed 
by what they've discovered on this inward journey, this pursuit of spirit, that they literally can't not live their life's purpose from that point forward. So what I'm saying is that if you have an awakening, I'm I'm going to almost guarantee there's going to be some sort of like, holy shit, I need to make my life about this. I need to like, you're, it, it, it absolutely blows open the doors for your creativity because that's what reality is doing. It's creating all the time. The cycle of life is creation. Everything is growing and changing. It's all, it's all out of creativity. So when you awaken, it connects to your life purpose because you realize, oh my goodness, this is so amazing. I need to, I need to, ex I need to express it. I need to share it. I need to go help someone and I need to go make a piece of music. I need to, and then that's how it synergizes. That's how it starts. You could probably even enter in from life purpose too and, and have a, 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 a non-dual experience while you're creating music or you're painting and you just feel this overwhelming sense of peace. There is, there's a deep wisdom to doing what you love, like truly why you're here, your, your life's purpose and awakening. And that is why when, when I think of the pursuit of spirit, it's these two things. I, oh my goodness, I feel it so, so strongly in my heart. I just like feel so excited sharing this because if you were to picture the most amazing life possible, this is what it would be composed of. It would be com composed of doing what you love and helping people doing it in whatever the way that is and getting such deep satisfaction and joy from helping people and doing what you love and then awakening to your true nature and awakening and having insights and realizations about how reality works. That is the ultimate life right there. That That is what will create a life that you, you would have never imagined was possible. Hit that like button for me. Click subscribe if you're new. And if you want to learn more, you can click the link in my bio. Thank you so much for allowing me to express myself here. I will talk more about life purpose and how it connects with awakening in the future. But um, until then, peace.